We're still here at the beach in the Gulf of Mexico at Padre Island in Texas, the Padre Island area in general. And we're still parked next to Sarah and Jay, but guess what else? Something else our viewers might find familiar. It's like deja vu. It's the crazy green Bucienda parked in front of us. We're all hanging out here together on the beach and uh, having a great time. Baby, if you're looking for some crazy, I'll tell you everybody's standing in a line for the water slide. Oh. I just have to show you this weird thing that happens when the tide is way out. It's super, super low tide right now, which is the best time to go shelling. So that's obviously what I'm about to do, Sarah and I. But um, let me show you this something strange. Normally the water would already be right here, way up here. And all of this would be submerged. And this is like the first sandbar out in the water. Look at this crazy thing in the sand. It's like a little tunnel that something has burrowed, and guess what? You can find the something in this end. And it's a lettered olive. My favorite, well, one of my favorite shells. Obviously, this one still has this critter inside. And apparently, they burrow down in the sand to um, wait for the tide to come back in because they're um, underwater snails. So we'll just tuck him back in his little bed in there. And uh, the tide is pretty much on its way back in right now. Here's our little fishing camp where the guys hang out and fish all day. Oh, Mike's way out there casting right now. Everybody else must be on bathroom break or something. But there's where we're parked. And here's where we fish. That wasn't chilly, that was cold. It got right to here. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. I better catch something glorious. <laughs> to make that worth it. I'm trying to make it back so I can see that, but I missed it. <laughs> All you missed was me whimpering. <laughs> You'll get to see it again in the future. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was really cold. But, I'm in a great casting zone, so. Very cool, man. Yeah, how far did you chuck it? I gave it a pretty big cast. Yeah. Probably 50 or 60 yards past the... Very cool, very cool. Oh man, I feel my legs, they're just frozen. So uh, are you fishing for anything in particular this morning? or just? I really want to catch, uh, like the edible fish, I want to catch reds. Uh -huh, they're so, so good. So you bait appropriately for that? Yeah. Good morning, Kelsey Hello, Bear. Hello, Kelsey, you look so pretty today. <sighs> man, that was cold. Mike went out about this deep in water, and went all the way to the second part. My fellows are not going to be the same ever again. He's going to catch a catfish this big. That's going to be right? so wrong. <laughs> that is going to be so rude. I know. I hate you. I love you too, yeah, like Kelsey. That. Oh, nice pin shell, man. That's a sawtooth pin shell. Yeah, it was over there. You think oh, you right. perfect. That's a good one. Do you, I want to find one, one with a slime in there that we can probably You're eat jumping. it. You're <laughs> jumping. Oh, at least off on one side of the sensor, and it will disengage the motor. Oh no! Oh my god, I'm dying! <laughs> You're gonna break another rib! Yeah, I am. Or something bigger! <laughs> wow! Good job, Mahoney! And it's snowboarding, heel and toe, heel and toe. Right? Wow, he's doing pretty good for a first time. I'm impressed. Let's see if he can turn around though. Yeah, right. Oh, he's working on it. Oh, incoming, oh, incoming. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
I could get used to this. Yeah. I could get used to this in a second. I've seen these a thousand times and I've wanted to try it so many. <laughs> and I'm like, I could do that. I know I could. Oh God, it does go backwards. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Good dismount. Good dismount. That's right. Hey man, thank you for that. Yeah, definitely. That was really cool, man. Yeah. I've been wanting to try one of those, and I imagine after like a week or so of really getting on it, you probably just rocked it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Because I've seen you go, I've been walking, sucking up your tracks. Carrie was like going out walking this morning. She's like, wait a minute, that's not a car. <laughs> I know. I was like tripping out. Is there, there some guy out here with those one wheel things? <laughs> yeah. This is the older version. They just came out with a, new, a newer version, but uh, this one can get up to 19 miles an hour. Wow. Holy Which, moly, that just sounds dangerous. Yeah, I think the new one. Uh, might be able to go up a, a mile an hour. I should get my little that. scooter out. We'll wow. do a race. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we got this company that sponsors. All right, let's wait out here and cast this thing. If you can see it, I don't know if you can see it. There's a brown line right in front of us right here. And that's uh, the sandbar. We're trying to get to the other side of that sandbar. And that's called a trough out there. And if you can get your line into a trough, it's deeper water, and that's kind of where the fish run. Let's do this. Rawr! Boom, right in the trough. And then we bring it back. I got a bait runner. You can hear me. You can hear that. I slow this little switch right here, and it allows it to kind of free spiel a little bit with a little bit of tension. All right, we're definitely into something here. I think it's a shark. We'll let him go. The black here. Yep. You gotta let those go, right? Nope. No. Oh, you keep the black here? Number 24 inches, you can keep them. There it is. Boy, he sure is pretty. Boy, he sure is. Wow. There he is, guys. Boy, and that look at how pretty that guy is. is. Just a pretty fish. Keeper? Nah. Oh yeah, man. Twenty-seven and a half. I'm good. First shark, though. Let him go. All right, we're into something. We don't know what it is. Doesn't feel like anything, really. Oh, yeah, no, it's still there. Oh, it's fighting now. Whatever it is doesn't want to come in. It's oh, I think it's a blue or something. Right there. Is it a pompano? Nice. nice yeah. We'll yeah. keep that one. Yeah. Pompano. Delicious fish. All right, we're going to keep this one. This is delicious food right here. That's the pompano. Right. Pompano, yeah. Kind of looks like a piranha. Kind of does, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't even know how to hold this thing. Uh, it's freaking, you got to grab them right by the gills and grab them tight to the gill. Like right there and like squeeze them fucking tight. Go ahead and de hook them. Thank you for leaving me my bait too. Awful right, nice. Right. Good little guy. <laughs> All right, pompano now. Lesson learned. When you catch a fish, get your line in the water before you do anything with that fish. That's important. Because you could be fishing the whole time. All right, here we go. Got a short little cast here. When the pompano are running, they just run, so you want to you want to keep a pull in the water right right away, or else you could miss the next pompano. Side you stayed on there. Usually pompano get off if it goes slack like that. He hit hard. Where he uh, hit hard. Where how far out? That was a short cast on that first uh, the first trough right there. All right, see if we can get some more of those. That's a delicious fish too. What do we got? 
Anything? Nothing. No, we're on. There we go. I got something. If I do, it's really, really, really small. It feels like another whiting. Another champion whiting. We're using one of these for bait one of these times too. Yeah, no kidding. But they got the monster and kayak out. Oh yeah, yeah. Super long kayak. Right? <laughs> Kids are having a blast over there. <laughs> what is this? It's like kite extravaganza out here. And there's Carrie flying our little rainbow kite there. And there that's a unicorn. That is a unicorn. And over here is, uh, what are those called? Be -doo, be -doo, those guys, the minions. It's definitely kite day on the beach here at Padre Island. We got the minion kite, we got the rainbow kite. Oh man. I think I got that. We'll put that on there for you, buddy. Oh, damn it. You bet. And there's some more kites over here. Yeah, is your GoPro going too? You hit our speed bump and crashed. I'll just let you know that was our fault, that speed bump. I left the jack down when I pulled out. I love how when one person gets their kite out, everybody on the whole beach gets their kites out. This has been so fun. Somebody down there has a Blue Angels airplane kite. Skylar has T-Rex dinosaur kite. Let me make sure I'm getting it. It's so cool. That's my rainbow kite. Down there we got a Blue Angels kite. We got a giant octopus. And a rainbow kite. Yeah, look at mine! Up there, we got a big old, I don't know what it is, all kinds of colors. So cool! What'd you catch, Mahoney? This is a whiting. Are we keeping this guy too? Yeah. All right. We're gonna have a whiting feast. This is a beast right here. You hear here, that, though. fella? You're a keeper. Uh, talk about a fish fry. Right? Wow. Not or what? We're gonna run out of pan space. How many fishing poles we got? We got six fishing poles in the water. <laughs> and I think Sarah's getting ready to cook some of the fish they just caught this morning for us to eat this afternoon. We love the beach life. Some of you may already know that pineapple upside down cake is my specialty and I think I've finally perfected the recipe. We'll have to see how this one turns out. The jury is still out because we're having another dinner party tonight for like the 50th time, which is awesome. Well, it's impossible to hold the camera and turn the cake upside down. So I'm gonna just have to try to do my best, even if I can't get it in the camera. Alfredo. Mm -hmm. Everybody got all quiet all of a sudden. You guys don't have to get quiet. Because <laughs> we have company tonight. The camera's all over here. Just saying, the artist was at work. <laughs> we got Paul and Lisa. Paul, Lisa. From Which they Crazy Green School if, if you've been watching us, you've seen them before. Mm -hmm. And then we got Sarah and Jay over here. 
fishing extraordinaire, mom and dad too. The kids didn't come tonight. We they're getting bread and water and keeping them in the dungeon. <laughs> they're oh. sick tonight, the poor little munchkins. What is that, Hans? Uh, bacon and broccoli and with the Alfredo. That sounds horrible. What? <laughs> then you will have bread and water. <laughs> Time for dessert. My pineapple upside down cake. So here's what's left of it. We killed it. We don't always film when we have guests over for dinner, which is like every other night. But we wanted to let you know that this is actually what is happening in Bussy McBuss face all the time. And we love it. This is what we call a good night. <laughs> what? What's going on over here? Did you scratch on the scratching post? What do you want? <laughs> She's all tap tap. Tap tap booming. Guess what time it is. Guess what good kitties get when they scratch on their scratching post. What do you want, Mama Kitty? What do you want in here? Is this the one you want? Is that the one you want? Oh my god, though. What is it, Mama? What is it? I can't believe it. Oh, her favorite treats from Kevin K, huh? Oh, she loves them so much. What you're witnessing here is the servant becoming the master. We trained Mama Kitty how to use a scratching post because she was scratching on the couch and all the all the chairs and the Driver's whole seat. driver's seat, everything in the bus. And we want, and she wouldn't even touch the scratching post. And then when we, uh, when she finally did use the scratching post, we started giving her treats to reward her for doing that. Now well, she just- I got her to use it by giving her yeah, treats. Exactly. Well now she uses that as a way to get food. So she'll just come over and scratch the thing and immediately tap on Carrie. Like, hey, I scratched, you have to feed me now. Did you just scratch on the scratching post again? I saw I already gave you treats this morning. What's going on around here? You're a rascal. You're trying to trick me. What? You have an idea? What are you thinking about? Did Timmy fall in the well? <laughs> Mom, I'm thinking about those treats in the cupboard. Let's go get those treats out of the cupboard, Mom. Come on. Come on, Mom. Let's go do it. Let's go get the treats. Let's go get them. <laughs> Sometimes stuff like this happens, and I don't know why, but it's pretty cool when it does. We're so fortunate to be in a place to see beauty like this. You just don't see this every day in your daily life, you know. And uh, fortunately, we get to see this every morning because we end up getting up just kind of as the light starts to become bright enough. So it's awesome. Beautiful sunrise. <laughs>